Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader, reading books for you. Today, I will be reading a book that has been nominated for the Queen's Knickers Award. This book is called The Hat Shop, written by Sally Cox, illustrated by Marie Wilkinson. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author and Pegasus Publishers for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I've included links where you find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. About the author. Sally hails from Stratford-upon-Avon in the UK and is currently living in Malaysia with her husband, Dirk, and their two beautiful children, Martha and Monty. Sally is an avid traveler and has been on some wild adventures across the world with her wonderful family. She loves scuba diving, skiing, playing hockey, and is passionate about the theater and arts, having been an actor herself for many years. Sally was inspired by her love of storytelling to put pen to paper. The Hat Shop is her first book, and she hopes your dreams are filled with magical hat shop adventures too. Marie has been drawing strange and unusual characters since she was a young child and would spend hours buried under paper, crayons, and paint. As an adult, she went on to complete a degree in fine art painting and has now found a true love for children's illustration. To Marie, each character has a life of its own and she finds great joy and excitement in leading them through their adventures. The Hat Shop, written by Sally Cox, illustrated by Marie Wilkinson. To my big kid, DC, this first one is for you, SC. Format, thank you for the floating trees, M.W. Mike is a polar bear, Mouse is a mouse, and they live at the top of their very tall house. They make their money and put food in their tummy, selling magical hats to you and your mummy. Mouse works his sewing machine, wearing his clogs, singing and tacking, and turning the cogs. Mike's magic bike spins, exploding with light, spraying powder and sparkle up into the night. The shop stands tall and proud on the street, cues out of the door round the bend every week. On the dot, nine o'clock, folks would whistle and wail, excited to enter their adventurous tale. First in the line was Granny Green Knickers, clutching her handbag and wearing her slippers. Mike held out his hand and took her inside. Her jaw fell open and eyes opened wide. Can you count how many people are in the queue for the hat shop? Feel free to pause this video. The shop was enormous, stormy and breezy, and today it smelled just a little bit cheesy. A tree towered up through the middle of the room, and a witch was flying around on a broom. The timid old lady climbed onto the stump, and her face turned bright red as she gave a wee trump. She looked all around at the hats, large and small. There were so many, they covered the wall. How many hats can you count? Don't forget the witch and the tiny snail. Feel free to pause the video so that you can count the hats. Some hats were furry. Others were slimy and covered in mold. Some hats were smelly. Some looked like buildings made out of jelly. While a child once had one that gave her a cold. One tasted of chocolate. One dripped with green snot. 
Some had fruit on them, castles and eggs. Another had a tiger sailing a yacht. One even jumped down and ran away on its legs. Which hat is your favorite? She tried on a few, but nothing seemed right. Got a nip from a pig and a fright from a knight. She looked confused, but then gave a grin. There, she pointed, there in that bin. Mike pulled out a hat as he bent on one knee with a teapot, a crown, and a large bumblebee. Yes, yes, she cried. That one is for me. I must have this hat, and here is my fee. She placed her gold coin in a slot on the stand, and a group of black ants danced around in a band. There was a loud pop, then a whistle and a woo, as the tree shook and shivered, and out popped cuckoo. With the hat on her head, smoke flew out of her toes, and sparks blue and yellow came out of her nose. Her ears fizzed and whizzed. The hat gave a loud bang as Mike stirred the cauldron and joyfully sang. Flippity flappity flop flop flew. Here is a magical hat for you. Your adventure begins in this cloud of pink. Now hold your nose and drink this drink. What will happen next? Granny Green Knickers laughed and started to wail. She had entered into her adventurous tale. As she opened her eyes and began to wake, there was an enormous pink and blue cake. It sat in the middle of a table for two, and the lady at the end said, How do you do? She took a seat and cut a huge slice, then was served a cup of tea by some uniformed mice. She took a large bite and a sip of her tea, but all of a sudden she needed a wee. Oh no, she thought, what am I to do? But thankfully a mouse showed her straight to the loo. How many mice can you count? Don't forget the one on this page. Feel free to pause this video so that you may count the mice. At the end of the room where the grand lady sat, Granny noticed a bee that was fuzzy and fat. It buzzed on her cake and whizzed round her crown. Stop! shouted Granny as Queenie danced like a clown. Granny jumped on the table and raced to the end, striding and serving to help her new friend. Granny dived at the bee and it flew in the air. Then they danced on the table and let down their hair. In a flash, she was back with a smile on her face, looking flushed as though she had just won a race. Mike cheered, you're back. Tell us where you have been. Why, yes, she said, I've had tea with the queen. Roll up, roll up, who's next, shouted Mike. And looking around, saw a boy with a kite. George looked at his mum, who had a very large tum. She gave him a big smile and raised her thumb. How many animals and insects can you count? Feel free to pause this video so that you may count the animals and insects. George stood on the stump, feeling tall and grand umming and awing, then pointed with his hand. There, he shouted, that one at the back, with the puffy white clouds and a fat ginger cat. Flippity flappity, flop flop flew. Here is a magical hat for you. Your adventure begins in this cloud of blue. Now jump up and down and chew this chew. George pulled the hat down over one eye and immediately flew up into the sky. 
he twisted and turned through clouds white and gray, then was hit in the face with cold, watery spray. Up, up through the clouds, he wobbled and swayed, then popped out of the top where the sun gave away. He looked all around at a beautiful blue sky, and the cat from his hat flew an aeroplane by. The cat looked and shouted, Hey, come fly with me. George swam through the sky, smiling with glee. They flew up and down, round and round, sometimes nearly touching the ground. Oh no, shrieked George as he spotted a chick falling from a tree all speedy and quick. They pointed the plane and dashed to help and pulled the bird in before it could yelp. Soaring like eagles, the adventure was over as they skidded on landing in a field full of clover. George picked a bouquet of flowers for his mom, then returned to the hat shop with a very dirty bum. Next in line was little Miss Martha, who was holding the hand of her best friend called Arthur. She looked up at Mike and gave a small squeal as Arthur pushed her forward and she did a cartwheel. Flippity flappity flop flop flew. Here is a magical hat for you. Your adventure begins in this cloud of rose. Now turn around twice and strike a pose. Smiling and laughing, her face all a grin. She had chosen a hat with a fish and a fin. She climbed on the stump in the middle of the store, the hat dripping wet seaweed all over the floor. Martha dived off the stump into an ocean of blue, swirling and twirling with a mermaid or two, flapping and clapping their tails all around, singing and swaying, making a beautiful sound. How many sea creatures can you count? Feel free to pause this video so that you may count the sea creatures. Martha swam to the bottom where she quietly sat on a turtle with a fish that was shaped like a bat. Along came a seahorse and crab with a fiddle, a shark and an octopus doing a fancy wiggle. Then off shot the turtle with Martha astride, a couple of fish hanging on for the ride. They swam over mountains of coral and reed, floating along at spectacular speed. A dolphin came to her and swam by her side. It said, come on, Martha, hop on for a ride. She was dragged along, holding onto its fin. It jumped out of the water and did a huge spin. Oh no, dolphin cried as it crashed down to sea. I just hit my head, now I've a bump like a pea. Don't worry, said Martha, I'm a first aid master. Come here and I'll give you a sticky little plaster. Can you spot the sea snail? Mike, Mouse and Arthur she eagerly met. Back in the shop, all soaking and wet. Wow, she exclaimed, that's my best day ever. Thank you, Mike and Mouse, you are so clever. Mike and Mouse had a fantastical day, so they shut up shop and counted their pay. We sold 23 hats, now it's time for a cuppa, said Mike as they headed upstairs for their supper. The End Mike and Mouse hope you enjoyed the tales and adventures of Martha, George, and the Granny with dentures. Who knows, boys and girls, for tomorrow's a new day. It might be your turn to come over and play. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links for me find and purchase this book.